So apparently I can't do any strenuous activity before shooting a video because I'll be bright red. Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. It's been a bit um, because I kind of forgot I hadn't pre-filmed a video and so yesterday I went to go edit one and I didn't have one. So I'm filming this today and hopefully it'll go up today. But I, but I am going to be doing the booktube watching tag. I originally saw it over at Drinking by My Shelf. The creator of the tag is Harriet Rosie. Please go check both of their channels out. They're awesome. Question number one is how many you subscribe to? I just counted all of them. It's 84, which is actually lower than I anticipated. Um, but at least I would say a good 70% of those are booktubers. Um, I have some random, like, nor like just original YouTubers on there. And then I have some makeup gurus and some... I've, saw, I've got some random ones on there, so I might have to go through and, like, weed some of those out that I like subscribed to back in like high school. Question number two is when do you normally watch booktube? Um I don't really watch it at any one specific time. I try to watch it in the I sometimes watch it in the morning when I'm getting ready but I also try not to do that because I have a habit of just getting distracted and I'll just sit and watch and then I have to like hurry up and rush to get ready for work. Um, I have a habit of just binge watching, so like I won't really watch for like a week and then I don't know sometimes at work I get a free couple hours so I'll watch then or I'll get home from work and I'm just not tired so I'll watch then. I just kind of watch whenever the mood strikes me. Question number three is how do you balance booktube watching, booktube watching, reading, and making your own videos? I don't really. <laughs> I know that sounds really bad to say but I haven't found a good like system yet. I do rely on audiobooks a lot to do it, especially because like right now I'm just haven't found a I just I read certain things in different formats. So I read I listen to a lot more YA, like fantasy and even sometimes um mysteries on audiobook and I read a lot of fantasy and I just really haven't been in the fantasy mood. So I've just been listening to a lot of audiobooks. Another one is I guess another way I kind of is I I do really enjoy making them, but it's if if I have to go a week without making them or like yesterday I forgot that I didn't have one, I don't let myself stress out about it because I mean I do definitely love making videos and I love editing videos, but it's just it's a hobby for me, one I greatly enjoy, but if it's something that I can't get to right away, I don't let it try to stress me out. Because I mean I do this because I really enjoy it and if it starts stressing me out and making me super worried then that's not going to be fun anymore. Question number four, is there a difference between the videos you like watching and videos you like to make? And I don't really think so. I Some of my favorite ones I've done are with my friends and I really love, those are the, like my favorite ones when people bring like guests onto their channel and do like a challenge with them or like the first sentence of a book. That one challenge. Um, I just really love to see that dynamic between friends and how like people interact with others so those are some of my favorite ones to watch and I really just like discussion videos and those are the ones I really like doing um sometimes those are the hardest to edit though so I don't really think there's a difference question number five is who are who is the first booktuber you subscribe to and do you still watch them um I don't know who exactly was the first but two of the first that I definitely subscribed to was CC over at problems of a book nerd and Adriana over at petrol perpetual pages and the answer is yes I both still watch them yes I still watch both of them Adriana puts out I think like one video a week and CC puts out between two to three and I just absolutely love Adriana's like commentary and all the books she read for them and CC comes up with some of the best ideas and they're both L like part of the LGBTQIA booktube community which is even better Question number six is who is the most recent booktuber you've subscribed to? Chapter Stacks. I literally subscribed to her like last night. Um, kind of off of this tag actually. Number seven is sharing old favorite booktuber. So I have two. One is Matthew Sharapa. He is hilarious. I watch every video of his like religiously. Um, he's probably the only booktuber I could have said I've watched all of his videos. And then Catherine over at Literary Prince, her way with editing and her voice is just 
Oh, so awesome. Number eight, share a new favorite booktuber. I mentioned her before, but that is, I can't believe I forgot her name, but it's um, Drinking by My Shelf. She comes up with some really fun ideas, like her TBR and wrap-ups. Like it's, instead of it just being a normal wrap-up or a normal TBR, it's like re reacting to my TBR. So she'll see if she actually accomplished what she did, which is really interesting. And then her wrap-ups are called something like Balancing the Books. I haven't seen one of those yet, but I plan on watching them when I get a minute. But yeah, I really like the idea she comes up with. Number nine is, what is one of your booktube pet peeves? I don't really think I have any. I'm not picky, and if I don't, if I'm not in the mood for something, I just won't watch it. Like, I might, I might really like the premise, but I just might not be in the mood for whatever type of video it is, so I'll just go to a different type of video, and then I'll usually stick it in my watch later, or just try to remember it, which means I forget and make sure to watch it later or at least try to remember their channel so I can go back and watch some of their videos but I don't I don't really have one. Number 10 is what have you learned from other booktubers? I actually really love this question because I feel like that's something that is very inherent in the booktuber community is like we're always willing to learn and like I've learned that some things I've learned some of the things that have worked for me and some of the things that don't like there are some people who can amazingly enough somehow Put out a video without editing it at all and I am not capable of that. I have really long pauses in my videos, grasping for words, I have to go sometimes look things up because I forget them even if I have half of it written down and so I just love how we all have our different style but we all like work together and I mean they I also like how they make me try new things like I'll be like really interested and be like maybe I'll try that or just stuff like that so I don't know if there's any one specific thing but it's just like the continuing to grow as a booktuber is kind of what I've learned. And number 11 is tag some of your favorite booktubers. I don't honestly know who hasn't done this yet and who has because this has been going around a lot so I tag anyone who wants to do this who is a booktuber. So if you want to do it, do it, and if you don't put out videos, maybe leave some comments down below telling me some of your answers to this. I would absolutely love to know some of your answers to these questions, which I'll put in the description box, or just come and say hi. Well, that is it for this tag, so until the next video, ta-ta for now!